Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to pack for Europe and I'm going to be showing you what I think is essential and what I think is not so essential but if you overpack like me I mean you don't know what to bring I am going to show you what I think is the essential things to pack. So I'm going for three weeks. I'm going to Spain, Croatia, and then Italy and I'm going to be in each place for about a week then I'm going to come back to San Francisco for like two days and then I fly out to Vegas for a week so I kind of have to pack for a whole month months worth of things so yeah I'm just gonna get right into it first I'm going to start off with the makeup this is like all the makeup stuff that I'm bringing for me foundation is really essential so I am bringing the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless, I think. Fit Me. Oh, I think. Oh, the matte one is the Fit Me Poreless. Um, but they're both Maybelline. This one is just in the dewy finish, and then this one is in the matte finish. Um, I really like how the dewy one looks on me, but I usually use the matte. And since I'm going over the summer, I figured I should use matte since I'm probably going to be sweating a lot. But I'm bringing this one just in case. This one is the number 310 in Sun Beige. And that's the dewy finish and then this one is 238 in rich tan and this is the matte finish i got this cute bag from walmart it was like 10 bucks i believe it's actually supposed to be for men uh like to put all their toiletries and stuff um but i thought it would be a good bag for like my makeup because um the bag that i have right now is actually this one that i made and it's really small, it doesn't fit all the stuff that I have. This one is a lot bigger, it's easy to open and carry around, so I'm going to be putting everything, all my makeup stuff into this bag. So then I got this concealer, I don't usually use concealer, but I've tried my friends and I really liked how it worked on her, except she had the smaller version, this one is the large one. Um, and I couldn't tell if it was concealer or if it was foundation because this is the bigger version. So I think I can use it as concealer. Setting spray. I need to get more setting spray. I'm running out. Um, but I think this is really crucial <laughs> because it's going to be really hot in Europe. At least I think it's going to be really hot. Blush. It's all like has like sticky. I think this is from like a sticker or something. This is a blush that I got from Sierra. Um... And then I'm also going to bring this little compact size NARS, my Too Faced bronzer. And this is in dark chocolate deep tan matte. It's the darkest color that they have, which is like not dark enough, I think. I think they should make a darker color, but that's just my opinion. Um, then I'm going to bring this powder. I think it's a, it's a pressed powder. And um, oh yeah. By the way, when, when you take things on the plane, you can only bring powders and liquids that are 3.4 ounces or less. So I checked everything and this is actually 0.35 ounces, so I'm good off this. Um, this one is only like 0.7 I believe. Point, oh, this is not even 0.7, this is 0.29. This is in the number 222. Oh, I also got this Maybelline translucent powder. Um, and this is 0.7 ounces. I am bringing... This is the one that I'm wearing right now. I just think it looks really nice on my skin tone. It makes me look really tan. Then I'm going to bring like a deep red. A dark brown. These are all like fall colors, I feel like. But these are like my favorite lipsticks. So this one is the fake Jeffree Star <laughs> lipstick that I got off the Wish app. Um, I really like this color. This one is Chi from Colourpop Cosmetics. This one is also from, what's her name? Karuchi's line. This one is in the color Rouge. This is K, and then this one is Pacific. These are all from Colourpop, and this one is from Wish. This is the Wonder Kiss lip gloss that I got. I really, really like how this feels on my lips, so 
I don't have time to put lipstick on or my lips are really dry. This is actually really moisturizing. I'm bringing like five mascaras. <laughs> um, I use a lot of mascaras, so, and it all fits in this bag. So I was like, why not? I'm just gonna bring all of them. This one is running out. I just got this one and this one is like, kind of has some left, but I'm just gonna bring all of them because I'm gonna be gone for a month, so never have too much mascara for a pop of color um, since I'm not bringing that many eyeshadows I wanted to bring some fun eyeliners these are all from NYX this one is um, these are actually lip of the days but they work as eyeliners as well this is sunlit heat wave this is the red one this color is really really beautiful this copper color is called gem and the silver one is called magnetic um, and I'm also bringing my jumbo white liner. This is my dip brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the color Ebony. This is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer to clean up my brows. I'm bringing my tweezers just to, you know, put my lashes on and just to, you know, keep my brows all nice and clean. I keep my lashes in this cute little frog thingy. <laughs> I think this had like candies in it. Yeah, see, watermelon sours. This is like really, really old. Keep all my reusable lashes in here. So this will be good for me for like a month. For lash glue, I use this huge thing of hair glue. It actually works really, really well. It dries as you apply it. So it only takes about 10 to 15 seconds to actually dry it. And it dries black. So I really like this. I've been using this for like a year now. I am bringing only three palettes. One of them is the Urban Decay palette. And the main reason why I'm bringing this is because it has a mirror. I definitely need a mirror because I'm going to be staying in a lot of hostels and I don't know how many bathrooms there are or whatever. So I think a mirror is really essential. And for my eyeshadow, like my main eyeshadow, I'm bringing my... Huda Beauty palette, the rose gold palette. I think it has all the like neutral essential colors for like your everyday look. And it has a little bit of fun glitter. Um, not really happy with the glitters. Like I was expecting the glitters to be a little bit better, but I really like the matte colors. If I wanted more color, I could just use the electric palette. And for glitter, if I want it to be extra, I am bringing my lemon head glitter in the color rose gold. My little highlighter from Sleek Makeup. This is in the color Strobing Souffle. I couldn't really decide which highlighter palette to bring. I have like four or five, but I really have been killing the colors out of this, especially the pink. Um, and I just really think it's just a fun pop of color since I'm probably going to be doing basic everyday makeup so I thought it'd be fun to have some fun highlighters if you are on a budget I would recommend getting the Morphe brushes eyeshadow palette in 35 OM and they have some other palettes as well that have basic colors but this is a really good palette it has all your you know your basic colors and it's uh, really affordable too I believe it's only like $25 but I am not going to be bringing this because I don't have that much room to pack my things and of course you got to bring your makeup wipes um, this one was a dollar at Walmart this has like 30 wipes I'm gonna be gone for a month so let's just say that's like about about 30 days but just in case I'm bringing this as well this one only has like 10 oh it only has seven okay only has seven but this was in the travel aisle as well so this was like a dollar I think so we're both a dollar but I'm bringing both of these bringing my makeup brush belt just because I like to use a lot of brushes um, but let me show you guys which ones I think are essential I am bringing my sponge this is like what I use to apply my foundation and it's going in the bag I use this big brush to set my face with powder um, what do I do next? I usually contour next so um, I lost my other Morphe brushes angled fluffy contouring brush but I have this one so oh I have this one too 
Um, so I'm bringing this. So I would say, let me take out all the brushes and then I'll show you guys which ones I think are essential. Like I said, contouring brush. This one, you don't really need. You, you have one right here, but I'm just extra, so... Next, I usually do my blush. This one is broken. The stick is like somewhere inside here, but it's just like a round fluffy brush that I'm bringing and I use this for my blush. So this goes in here. After I blush, I like to do my highlight. So this little fan brush. This one, I'm probably not going to bring this one. I like to use a lot of brushes to do my eyeshadow, so a lot of just fluffy blending brushes um, I am going to bring. You don't have to bring as many as me. I'm bringing like five. You can just bring two or one, depending on how much makeup you wear. Um, and I like to use this little flat brush for my inner corner highlight. So I'm bringing that. This one I'm probably not going to bring. This one I use to contour my nose, so this one is going in this section, um, and this one I use to blend out my nose contour. So it's going on this side. This one is just to get, you know, in little details um, that the big fluffy brushes can't reach. So I'm bringing this. This one is just another inner corner highlight brush. This one as well. I'm not bringing this one. Um, bringing that one. This is the brush that I use for my eyebrows, so I'm definitely bringing this one. And I'm bringing this. This is the brush that I use to conceal my eyebrows. Yeah, so I'm bringing all of these. Um, let's organize. And those are all the brushes that I'm bringing. I think that's all for the makeup. I could fit everything in here. I actually could fit more things. And let's go into toiletries. I got these at Walmart. Um, I don't wash my hair that often, but I don't really know how much I use when I do. So I just got two shampoos and two conditioners. This is just the Tresemme brand. And I also got two face washes. The Clean and Clear Morning Burst. I believe these were all around like a dollar or two. Yeah, it was in the travel aisle. And I also got some Q-tips. I use Q-tips a lot for like makeup and cleaning my piercings and stuff. So I packed more Q-tips in this bag. It came with the toothbrush and toothpaste, but I took it out and I just put more Q-tips in here. Just so I don't have to bring the huge pack of Q-tips. I am bringing some hair clips. Um, I don't usually do my hair, but you never know. I'm bringing a few hair ties. I'm going to be hiking a lot, so I want to be able to put my hair up. I'm going to fit everything in this bag right here. It's like a, mm, like two of my hand and a half. Two hands? I don't know. But this is just a bag I made for one of my classes. So this is just like a reuse project that I did. I made out of a sweater. Kind of crappy but it's okay it works so i wear contacts and i need contact solutions so this is really essential but it is four ounces so i'm probably gonna have to go find one that is under 3.4 ounces um maybe they'll let me get away with this but if anything i can always buy contact solution when i'm there my toothbrush of course toothpaste floss um, this is my Kiehl's face lotion, some nail clippers, this is just like a little sample bottle of my dark spot corrector, but this is just for me, I like to use this every day. An extra pair of contacts, just in case. Some lotion right here. It's on my hand, oh. <laughs> I have some lashes <laughs> on my hand. Bringing some band-aids, just in case I fall or something while I'm hiking. I don't usually use sunscreen, but since I'm gonna be probably outside all day, it's probably essential, especially in Vegas, because I'm going to Vegas after, so 
gotta have the sunscreen. Also bring in a razor, shaving cream. It was in the travel aisle as well. It's really big, but it's only 2.75 ounces, so you can bring this on the plane. I also get a lot of headaches, so ibuprofen is a must. I try not to take them, but sometimes it's necessary, so I'm bringing these. I like my shampoo, my conditioners, uh, my face wash, my little pack of Q-tips, and yeah. Oh, I'm also bringing some spoolies as well. So as you can see, most of the stuff fits in here. Um, I couldn't fit the band-aids and all the hair clips, so I'm sticking it in here, and it should be able to fit. Once I zip it. To be honest, I could probably fit a little bit more stuff in here, but it's pretty full. Um, and that's all the stuff that I have, so yeah, I could fit everything in here, except my palette and my belt brush, but that's that. Oh, I found these little container things that came in a pack of two at Walmart, and it was like a dollar, so I put all my earrings in here. All my big hoops I'm putting in this like little pouch, and then I could just stick this inside here. And I'm gonna put this in this black bag as well. Also bringing a hairbrush, even though I don't really brush my hair, which is really bad. I'm probably gonna vlog a little bit or make a few videos, I don't know yet. Um, exactly, but this is just like a little pouch. It doesn't have to be Michael Kors, obviously. This is just like a little purse that Sierra gave me and it's like perfect to hold my camera in since I don't have a case for my camera. So yeah, I'm just bringing this camera that I'm using. I can't really show you. I mean, maybe I could show you in the mirror. This is just the Sony A5100 and it's a good vlogging camera. The back looks up like this so you can see yourself and it's just really compact and kind of good for vlogging. So it fits in this bag. Along with that, I am obviously going to bring my charger for my camera. Depending on what you're going to do, you don't have to bring your laptop, but since I'm going to be using my camera a lot, I want to be able to upload everything. So I'm bringing my, my laptop case, my laptop, my laptop charger, and my hard drive. And I would suggest to back up everything on a second hard drive if you have it. I'm actually bringing a lock because some of the hostels that I'm staying at, they have um, lockers that you could put your stuff in. Bringing the selfie stick, I don't know exactly if I'm going to use it or not, but I think it'd be cool to use just to capture some cool photos. Earphones essential for the plane or for any hikes that you're going on. Um, your phone charger. I bought this universal outlet. The outlets in Spain and Italy are different from the ones in Croatia. I think they're all different. Since I want to travel a lot more, I thought I would just invest in this. I forgot how much this was, but you just take this out. And this is for any outlets in Europe. Um, and they also have the just push this out um, and this is good for you know your standard US, Japan, Australia, and Thailand um, then they have this one which is good for the UK SP this I don't know what SP is I feel dumb but yeah, that's that. I'm actually going to be packing everything inside this little backpack right here, which I got from Forever 21. So this fits my camera bag, my hard drive, charger, phone charger, my lock, earphones, which I can put in this little pocket right here, outlet. Also can fit my, I'm bringing my business cards just in case. I don't think I've ever shown 
what my business cards look like. So this is from Moo. And my business cards look like this. The little cake on it. And this is the front. And it has a little gold. I'm going to bring them just in case. You never know who you're going to bump into. So I haven't used these yet. So it's good to get some use out of them. My windbreaker pouch. <laughs> and I'm using it as kind of like a wallet. This is my wallet. Uh, the zipper kind of broke so I taped it. But this it has a zipper right here. I can fit my passport in here. I can fit my phone. Um, and then it has another pouch for your monies. And it has a bunch of card holders because I use a lot of cards. So this is like perfect um, for my travels. Also, I would recommend to make copies of your ID and your passport and any other type of identification that you have just in case. Um, and take photos of them on your phone. I can fit this as well in my backpack. I'm going to be carrying around every day um, everywhere I go because it has all my like important, important stuff. So, yeah, um, I could probably honestly fit this in there too if I really wanted to. I just have to kind of organize and make everything pretty and nice. Yeah, that's that. Uh, and my keys. And this I'm going to put in probably my locker. But this I'm going to carry in my backpack. Next, I'm bringing my reading glasses. Yeah, these are essential, just in case I don't want to wear my contacts. I am also bringing a pair of sunglasses. This is from Gold Soul LA. Yeah. I'm gonna be out in the sun all day. Um, this is definitely essential. So this is just my itinerary on my flights um, that I wrote down. What I need to pay for, like food, hotel, transportation. Those are the main things that I calculated. Writing down um, the location of your hostels or your hotels or Airbnb, whatever you have. Um, any plans that you have, any places you plan to go. Um, how much money you think you're going to spend. And definitely overestimate how much you're going to bring. Um, think about buses, trains, uh, ferries. Um, also bringing this little, like, it's just empty, plain pages, just in case I need to write things down, places that I want to go, places that I want to eat, museums that I want to visit, just anything. And I am just going to fit everything that I have into this backpack. I already got a head start. I have a lipstick stain right here. <laughs> It's just a Jansport backpack, I think. Yeah, it has a bunch of zippers, so this is like perfect. So I have my laptop, my all my makeup, my toiletries in here, uh, my makeup brush belt, uh, my palettes are in here as well, my hairbrush. I got my two glasses cases in here, and I'm gonna fit this in there as well. This I'm actually going to be keeping everywhere with me, so I'm probably going to stick it in this backpack since this is like all my important things in here. Of course, I need a pen. While you're on the plane, you're definitely going to need some snacks. So I got hot Cheetos. I'm probably going to buy some candy and like some more like little snacks that I can eat on the plane. I am not checking any bags in, so that's why I can't pack that many things. So I am bringing just this backpack, that little backpack, and this suitcase for a whole month. I packed a bunch of dresses for Vegas and I'm just giving it to Sierra because she's going to meet me there. So I won't have to pack all that stuff, um, extra stuff in my bag. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to show you. I also have some hats that I'm going to bring. Just simple black, gray, and another black Adidas. Hat, little sun hats and a fedora. Stuff all my hats inside the biggest hats, folding it down, and then I'm gonna stuff it into my backpack. 
Obviously not all those hats are essential, but I'm extra AF, so I am bringing all of them. But I would suggest to at least bring one hat because you're gonna be in the sun all day. Next is shoes and then going on to the clothes. I'm bringing flip-flops specifically for Vegas, but this would just be some nice shoes just to walk around the hotel. This was just a dollar from Walmart. Heels for going out. I probably will only go out about maybe like once or twice a week And I don't really plan on buying a lot of clothes while I'm there. So that's why I'm bringing a lot of shoes and clothes Next some walking shoes. So I'm just bringing my Nikes um, And then some shoes that you can wear with almost anything and I just got both of these shoes I got a freaking stain on it already and I haven't even worn them, but these are from Walmart um, they were six dollars, so I wasn't trying to spend fifty dollars on Converse, so I just decided to get these. Um, I wore these a little bit. These will probably only last a week, to be honest, but it's good for traveling for shoes that you don't care about. When you're done with them, you can just throw them away. Next, I'm going to be showing you what clothes I'm bringing. Um, I had to take some stuff out just because I'm bringing a few coats because I don't know how cold it's going to be at night. I'm bringing this green oversized jacket from Forever 21. It's just a good staple piece. I think it goes with a lot of different clothes that I have. So I'm going to bring this. I'm also bringing my black jean jacket. It's another staple piece, I think. And my blue <laughs> denim stressed acid washed jackets and i'm also bringing a comfy sweater just to hang around the hostels i wanted to pack some easy clothes to just throw on so i packing a lot of dresses um, i'm also bringing one clubbing dress from fashion nova two cardigans or this is like a kimono type thing just this cute floral thing I can wear over my bathing suit, which I will probably have to buy when I'm there because I don't have one. This is just another cardigan. It's a long one. Some leggings. Um, a lot of just clothes I can wear around the hostel. Be comfy. Shorts. Oversized t-shirts. Bringing one pair of jeans and these are just some black jeans. Another pair of leggings some really thin pants because I know it's going to be hot skirt, another skirt, a circle skirt some black shorts and some black or some denim shorts uh, for shirts I'm just bringing a lot of crop tops these are just all crop tops and then I have a few bodysuits right here one long sleeve shirt some other shirts that I have yeah so I'm going to have to fit everything inside this tiny suitcase Honestly, I might get rid of some stuff just because I know I'm probably gonna buy some things when I'm there. So I'll probably just take out a lot of these, to be honest. This is just one of my, what's it called? Like a bedspread because I don't know what they're gonna provide me with when I get to the hostels. And I don't know how clean they are, so I'm just gonna put this over the bed. I'm bringing a small little blanket that I made and a towel. Probably gonna bring plastic bags to keep my dirty clothes in. And I think that's it. Oh, I have to pack my other little things like socks. Um, but other than that, I think that's that's everything. As you can see, I'm packing a lot of stuff. A lot of it is not essential. I don't know. I just can't pick what to, what to bring because I've never been to Europe. And I don't know how the weather is. So I'm just bringing a bunch of stuff just in case. But that is everything. That is what I'm packing for Europe and for Vegas. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you want to see more random videos, mostly beauty related. Just like a lot of random shit. I am also on Instagram at KakeUpKristen. Twitter at KakeUpKristen. Although I don't really use Twitter. But if you want to follow my Twitter, it's at KakeUpKristen. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. Cake Up Kristen <laughs> and I just recently made a website cakeupkristen.com and I will link everything in the description box below. I will list everything that I think is essential. Thank you again for watching. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!